anybody in the world? By Otto Sexton. And it was written by Otto Sexton in 1931. It's a parody, like, of Utopian style, like how they were all, everybody was writing, like, books about perfect worlds and all that. He went against that. All the characters in the book are writ written after famous people of the early 1900s. They call their names, are the same names as people that were famous during that. And it's set in future London England. The book starts with the director of factories leading a tour to the building. And then later an employee, Bernard Marx, invites a co-worker, uh, Linnea Clown, to go to New Mexico to a savage uh, reservation. And uh, they find a British woman there. Her name's Linda. And they find her son, John. And then they realize that Linda's actually one of the director's like old lovers. And they, they bring him back to, uh, they bring John and Linda back to England. And when they find out that the, the, uh, John's the director's son, he, the director quits. And because he's embarrassed, because you weren't allowed to have kids, like they were all made like in a factory. And then Linda ends up dying, and John kind of goes crazy after that. It, he's, he doesn't like, he hates everything about the new world. And he starts to buy it, like right in the hospital. And Bernard, one of his friends, who's like, <coughs> uh, he's a professor at one of the colleges, they go over and they support him. They're, all three of them are arrested. And one of them, like, there's like nine war controllers, like nine dictators throughout the world. And one of them, the one that's in charge of London, uh, explains to them why all their ideas are no longer accepted. And Bernard and uh, Helmholtz, is, who is his friend, they're sent to an island where people who challenge the way the, of the town live. And John sent to a tower where he can live in peace, but he can also be studied. And the public finds him eventually, and they harass him, they take pictures of him, and like whipping himself, and like because he, I don't know, like it's something that he did, where he's from Indian Reservation. And he attempts to be with, with Linnea, but and he gets mad at himself for not being able to fight those urges, and he ends up hanging himself. That's like how the book ends. Him hanging himself. The occurrences in the book are there is no religion, and Henry Ford is from the God. Um, like that, instead of saying, every time they say, like, instead of like, oh my God, or something like that, they would say, oh my Ford. <laughs> There are no stable relationships. They encourage to be with a different person every night. Uh, they fly planes instead of driving cars. No, all children are made of genetic splints. All men have a genetic split? Children. Yeah. <coughs> uh, my collection on it is I feel that the author. I uh, love the book to show that sometimes technology can be a bad thing. I feel that John is actually like the author himself because he protests and fights against the new world. And he uses Shakespeare throughout the whole book. Uh, John does. He quotes Shakespeare the whole entire book. Um, and then and he uses that to fight the new world. And the author is using this book to kind of show the flaws of the world uh, during the time the book was written.